Hey guys and gals and welcome to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today I'm going to be doing once again Path of Fire. Yeah, so we're doing the way forward today and now it took me a while to find this place uh, because if you look at the star on the map, it's right down here. So I had my skimmer going over all these, you know, all this quicksand stuff. I couldn't for the life of me find it. Um, so I was just exploring and I found this lost mount and I was like, hmm, that's curious. And then just to the south of it, there is a cave and that is where you get into the instance. So I will just show you um, whereabouts it is. So it's around about there, I'm being attacked. So just there and that's where you get in. So we'll go in. Um, I am going to need my skimmer so I'm going to have to get out of combat, which is always fun. Face. Okay. So yes, you will need your skimmer for this, which I'm sure you'll probably have. Um, I haven't leveled up my skimmer at all, because out of all the uh, out of all the mounts, it's probably my least favourite. Um, okay. So there's this hole here where you need to fall into, and this starts the instance. So let's let's make our way forward. I'll glide so I don't die. Hello? This place is pretty. What's that? Hello? Power cell. Found a glowing crystal and a dead body. Pick it up. The crystal, not the body. If it's glowing, it may be a power source. There should be a control panel nearby. So we've got to restore the power to Kesho. Kesho is the lost city. For those of you who don't know, um, it's the uh, the lost city um, that will potentially help us find something to find Balthazar. Okay. Well, them bones. So I got a power cell, but I don't really know what to do with it. Um. Oh, exalted. Something about this exalted. It's moving, so it's alive, but it's not responding to my presence. Not responding? Poke it with something. No, no, wait, don't. That's poor research etiquette. Well, maybe just a light poke? Ugh! I wanna be there! I can't do anything, so maybe... It's interesting, what's the Exalted doing here? I know the Exalted in Tarir use these pedestals to sleep and recharge. But this is different. This is more like... living death. And they have this red glow. Your glowy red exalted? Ugh. I want you to poke it so bad. I am not going to poke the exalted for you, Tiny. Mm. These pedestals are dark. No lights, no sound, nothing. Maybe the power's shut off. Look for a way to turn it back on. Look for a way to turn the power back on. Found the power cores. Hello. Oh, but if I do that, will I lose my power core? Probably. Uh. Nothing in that alcove. So for those of you who have actually done this instance, who are now standing there screaming at me, telling me 
which way I need to go. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, there was a journal up there. Maybe that told me where I need to do it. Where I need to put the power source. Exalted inside. Not red like the others. That is pretty. Looks Look dormant. That. But maybe I can wake it. Nice. No! Did Balthazar send you a Joko? I will defend this sacred ground with my life! Wait, I'm a friend. We don't like Balthazar either. The commander's on a mission to stop him. Balth is the only clue we've got. What have you done? The pedestals are reviving the forged! The glowy red ones are forged? Good thing he didn't poke him. Yeah. You claim to owe Balthazar no allegiance. Prove yourself. Destroy his creations. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Why did I just know I'd have to kill these guys? What is that? Waking up. Kill them quick. Dad. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one woke up. I'm sure there's probably an achievement. Kill them all before they wake up. Bang, Dad. Balthazar's the reason I'm here. He's working to kill Krakatorik, and we're trying to stop him. I wish you'd come sooner. Balthazar was here recently with that wretched lich, Joko. Oh, nice. Apparently, I'm the chosen champion and protector of Glint's second scion, Orin. If you've been entrusted with the role of the scion's protector, then it would be my honor to assist you. I am Sadazi. Welcome to Kesho. What you see is what's left of the Forgotten's first attempt to pacify the Elder Dragons. It failed. This site was abandoned, but a few of us remained as its caretakers. Why were Balthazar and Joko here? They came seeking the Forgotten magics that imbue battle armor with living spirits. The same that created the Exalted. They quickly discovered they could use those magics to create these abominations. The horrors they call forged. The Red mm. Exalted you fought were the results of their early experiments on us. Left behind as mindless centuries. In the chaos, I sealed myself in that chamber to avoid the fate of the others. That was smart. Now you can help us make sure Balthazar doesn't succeed. Balthazar thought he destroyed the information you seek, but the centuries he left behind were actually protecting it. What do you mean? The pedestals! Your invisible friend is correct. I can reveal the secrets contained in any pedestal you choose. Okay. Was the key. 
She was perfect for our purposes. A scion of an elder dragon, and a crystal dragon herself, with a mind of her own. We did our work well. Glint actively rejected Kralkatoric, and she brought forth more scions to join our cause. That was Jasso Escher, one of the Legacy's main architects. Sadly, he was lost in the attempt to convert Kralkatoric. Wait, convert Kralkatoric? Yes. The Forgotten dared to try, but the hunger of Elder Dragons is too strong. It proved a tragic failure. More of your questions can be answered by consulting the other pedestals. Now that would be interesting, wouldn't it? If we actually found a way to convert all of the Elder Dragons. To like, make them sort of glintish. So they're all good. That would be so epic. The most important lesson an Exalted must learn is... Though Elder Dragons are unimaginably powerful, they can be killed. Each has a distinct flaw. Mordramoth, for example, dominates thought. But its most powerful asset, its mind, is also its greatest liability. Kralkatoric's unique strength, its power to crystallize objects, is also its singular weakness. Its creation share a fundamental resonance that connects them back to the Crystal Dragon and makes them vulnerable to each other. A fundamental resonance that makes them vulnerable. Whoa, so that's why Balthazar was after Vlast. He needed a scion of Glyph to kill Kralkatoric. But Vlast's gone now, so that means... Wait, there's one thing I don't understand. If Glint and the Forgotten knew what killing an Elder Dragon would do to Tyria, why would they rear Vlast and Orin? The answer is locked behind that door. If you're done with the pedestals, we can proceed. Now we'll get to all five, why not? There is one thing, um, it just reminded me. Um, there's one thing, there's an inconsistency that I wanted to point out to you guys. Um, so, on the Ring of Fire, uh, you, you notice the destroyers have got the powers of Zaitan and Mordramoth. So it's kind of undead destroyers and, and that. Now, I haven't been to all of the areas yet, so I may be wrong here and I may just be, you know, just, just like, yeah, just carry on going, Coops, and you'll, you'll see. But... None of, th that I've seen so far, none of the branded have got any of their powers. Which is a bit inconsistent, it's like, well I thought the powers then were then like absorbed by all the other Elder Dragons, so what, why, why hasn't Kralkatoric's minions got the other powers? Just thought, but we'll see later. Esho is supposed to be my home. But it's more of a cage, or a tomb. I prefer the open sky. I feel trapped here. This place reminds me that I cannot act, no matter how eager I am. Not until the full legacy is ready. That's Vlast. We encouraged him to record his thoughts for reference and posterity. He didn't contribute often, and was never glad to do it. I believe it. He sounds super frustrated and restless. Like a genius progeny suffering through intro to Golomancy. Interesting. Of course, Vlast was born here, so it makes sense that he was raised here. stand it any longer. The constant talk of duty and destiny, the forced reverence, it disgusts me, enrages me. My exalted attendants are durable, but still mortal, insignificant. 
They quake with fear at the slightest angry hiss. I have a job to do, and the power to do it. They can't help me. Why do they pretend they can? Sadly, last matured in isolation. We didn't know how to socialize him properly until it was too late. By the time we realized Vlast needed to bond with mortal races as Glint had, he no longer could, nor cared to. Hmm. Let's hope that doesn't happen to Aurene. Speaking of, I really should go and visit Aurene. You keep getting these updates about, you know, how Aurene's being, and I'd, I'd actually like to go back to, um... You know, you get that item, so you can just double-click it and go straight to Aurene. I'd like to do that and just see what's happening, what's occurring, whether it's just, like, takes you back into that instance and nothing's actually happening, or whether Aurene is literally, as as we've been told by Timey, going a little bit apeshit. So DZ and the others tell me I must wait, that before the real work begins, the whole legacy must ripen. And mature. I am ready now. Kraukatoric continues to grow in power, and my mother's death stands unavenged. But I am my mother's son. I will wait. I will serve the glorious purpose she and the Forgotten set for me. Though the snakes and their golden servants speak as though it is their purpose. And Glint merely lent it her name. So in her name, I will act. Until the full legacy is ready, I will contain Krakatoric and call its branded horde. Hmm. Okay. go further. So, apparently uh, Balthazar and Joko were here. So, that's not good. Maybe we'll meet Joko. Intruder! Oh, okay. It's okay, said so easy. Don't help me. It's fine. You just stand there. Responding. It must have been damaged during Joko and Balthazar's attack. What's this? You're in luck because the commander is good at smashing things. Break down the door. Oh. Please step inside. Well, I wasn't going to break down the door and then walk backwards, was I? Douchebag. Oh, hello. Cinematic. The millennia long Elder Dragon cycle is one of feast and famine. Ravenous they rise, sated they sleep. Glint and the Forgotten set out to break this cycle of extremes and to restore true balance. But when two Elder Dragons were unexpectedly eliminated from the cycle at one time... ...we believe it created a void. A void that caused the system to break down and the collapse to begin. Oops. The hope was that Glint's legacy would stabilize the cycle. We theorize these vacancies must be filled with entities that circulate and share magic rather than hoard it. Oh. 
Only then will the balance of magic truly become stable. Only then will Glint's legacy achieve its ultimate purpose. Huh. That's interesting. The scions of Glint are more important than we thought. Balthazar only sees them as a means to gaining power. But they could be instrumental in restoring the natural balance. Yep. If you are, in fact, the true protector of Glynn's legacy, then it's up to you to stop Balthazar from taking her. But know that he will let nothing deter him from his goal of killing the Crystal Dragon. Timey, get a message to Ritlock, Kanak, and Casimir. There's a spire south of the Skimmer Camp, tall enough for Kiel's airship to moor. Tell them to meet me there. Commander, you must leave, now. I can feel the forged approaching. If you were able to find Kesho, then I failed to adequately conceal the entrance. I must close the entrance forever. This portal will allow you to return safely to the surface. But what about you? I will keep my pledge to protect this sacred place with my life. I am at peace. Farewell, Commander. Okay. And there you have it. So. Yeah, that's interesting. So basically, Glint's legacy, as it were, is basically to restore balance. Um, maybe Glint foresaw this happening, that we were going to come along and... Um, <laughs> basically killed two elder dragons which has basically torn the natural balance of Tyria and magic apart which we knew we already knew um, we knew we'd, we'd messed up big time which is understandable so Glint's legacy Aureen, um is basically created to restore the balance of the magic but rather than the Elder Dragons hoarding the magic for themselves, that's exactly what they do, they come along and they just absorb power into themselves. What they're trying to do is get the dragons to share the magic to restore the balance, which would be very interesting. I think the only way we can do that is to do what Sadizi or Josso, is it Josso? I'm pretty sure it was Josso, said is to basically convert the Elder Dragons from being these seemingly evil creatures into nice creatures um, it'd be interesting to see whether we can actually do that um, that would be really exciting actually once we've destroyed uh, Balthazar we then go back after the Elder Dragons but we go after them to convert them so to protect them and then convert them uh, that would be ever so epic um, in the grand scheme of things, what that would do is, say for example, we went and we found, um, well we know Primordus and, well, let's just say Primordus, we know, I know they've gone back to sleep and everything, Primordus and Jormag, but, say we go and find Primordus, and we convert him into a good dragon, he starts sharing his powers, does that then mean that Jormag would then get the power of fire because then that's quite dangerous it's basically in essence using their powers against each other so I don't know whether there's like a friendly switch like <laughs> I don't know uh, but yeah that would be really cool and I think that's possibly something that could be used for uh, following expansions once we've destroyed Balthazar all the other gods are gone we know that uh, so we destroy Balthazar then go back to facing the dragons, which is kind of the whole point anyway. We know we've got to face them, we've either got to put them back to sleep, kill them, or, you know, convert them. Um, killing them is no longer an option. Putting them back to sleep is an option, but it's, it's a short-term solution to the whole problem. So, I was a bit concerned, really. Um, with Path of Fire, I was thinking, well, okay, we destroy Balthazar, then what? Where are they going to go with the story from there? This kind of leads us down that path of where we could potentially go with the story. Of We're still going after the Elder Dragons. We're still going to see 
the other Elder Dragons. We will see Jormag. I mean, we've seen Primordus and Jesus. I'm about the size of, I don't know, one of its fleas. It's, it's huge. Um, which, obviously, you saw in one of the instances. If you, It's the time then you go into that big volcano. Um, you do get to... Uh, sorry, I just turned the sound down. You do get to actually see Jormag, uh, Primordus, and damn. Most people didn't actually realise that it was Primordus, because all you can see is, like, the tip of his snout. And it looks like a, a mountain. It, he's that big, so... Um, will be really exciting to see the other Elder Dragons, and even more exciting to convert them into kind of good guys and be able to communicate on a on a, a nice scale with them. Uh, who knows? Orin may, in fact, herself become an Elder Dragon. That would be pretty epic, don't you think? That would be epic. Um, but that is it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will catch you tomorrow for The Departing, which is the next instance, I think, maybe. Who knows? Um, if it's not, it'll be whatever the next instance is. But <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys. I love you all with affections unspeakable. Goodbye.